Shalom. Welcome to the Jewish View. My name is Rabbi Nachman Simon with the Chabad House of Dalmar, together with my co-host, Mark Rohn, of Statewide News Service, jbstechvalley.com. And as you can see here now, countless for the Jewish press. Well, Rabbi, I'm having, all, I'm having a lot of fun doing all three assignments, and uh, my column in the Jewish press is called Albany Beat, and the latest column is all about... Uh, the pay raises that may or may not happen for yeah. the state legislators and for the ex administration. So I uh, do an analysis because there's a commission that's been set up uh, so that the legislators didn't have to be unseemly or feel unseemly about talking about it. But our guest today is Assemblyman Pete Lopez. Hello, guys. How are you? From uh, Schoharie. Pleasure uh, to see you. Well, well, you want a pay raise? I mean, oh, geez, here we go. Right in there. <laughs> so let's talk about something unseemly right away. You want sure. a pay raise? Well, we'll, uh, we'll jump, jump right into the, the, right into the deep end. You're huh. a news reporter. Huh. What the commission says, that's what's going to happen? Unless they vote. Unless the legislature. Acts, roll with unless that. the legislature acts to to Read revise it. or modify oh. or or defeat their defeat, so yeah. they could they, say the commission says they deserve a pay raise. If they Everybody do not, the if they do, if the legislature does nothing, then it goes through. Really? Correct, yes. and they'd have to oh, do that yeah. in, in extraordinary session. So so right. they'd have to Before either accept or reject. Uh, but they still have they the power. They don't have to accept or reject. They just have well, to they reject. don't have to accept just to reject. My apologies, yeah, but yeah. they do have the ability. On their own to to initiate a different dialogue if they wish if they have agreement between the Senate and the the Assembly and the Governor they could repeal the Commission and do their own thing the legislature With, could, sure within yeah. that period as as they they do now oh, so who's on the Commission not politicians I wouldn't think I mean not part of the Assembly I, I just no. love you guys you guys are yeah. the best. <laughs> no the Commission members are, are appointed fun. by the Governor the Senate the Assembly and they have uh, you know people who are close to the leader and the governor yeah. and the Senate and you know so someone might step down someone else will be reappointed by the, uh, the person so you know. flirt personally well I, I guess my perspective and I, I'm actually coming at it from a different angle so I'm preparing a submission to to send to the Commission but the piece that I'm going to highlight really is addressing the the, the necessary and required expenses of doing the job so I'm coming at it from a totally different perspective so and bear with I'm me. Like, yeah, I need a Cadillac or something. Well, well just to well, just to put it my, with yeah, yeah, just to put in perspective. So, so in the rules of the assembly, and I'll, I'll use a, a, an urban and a rural model. So, if I look at the urban model, uh, someone may have a district that is four square miles, for example, and their transportation needs may be minimal, or the cost may be lesser than someone who has seven counties, as I do. I do a thousand miles a week in my district and, and that and I have to leave the district routinely so in my in the world that I live in uh, the assembly pays for one office well I've had instances where I've had two hours drive between portions of my district so to have an office in Catskill and then at one point have have people in Sydney almost two hours away it was to me a travesty so out of my pocket I put an office in Schoharie and an office in Sydney with permission from the speaker. But, and I did that sharing services, but I had to pay for computer equipment, uh, for office equipment, for internet access, for phone people. lines, to, 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 yeah. to fund out of my paycheck or out of other resources uh, available to it, me personally. Could it come out of your campaign account? Uh, it, some of it did, yeah. but, but the premise there too is the campaign account, um, I raise the funds. That's right. So, and, and they're intended to defend you in a race, not intended to really support or, or offset state purposes uh, for, but for supporting but, the office. But again, it's the people, you're there to serve the people, so the That's people right. are really paying so, to, so for that office. So what it causes me to do is, in that case, uh, like a volunteer fireman, I have to raise the funds right just to do my job. So even outside of having a contested election. So you think of campaign funds and you think of mailers and you think of advertisements and campaign signs and flyers and leaflets, that's tr the traditional. I've had to use funds, both uh, in, in, in my own personal funds as well as campaign funds, to subsidize the state to the tune of, I would estimate, between twenty dollars and $30,000 of net expense annually. Yeah, so, so the driving piece alone, so I just last, um, let me guess, let me think, last Tuesday, I was at an event and we hit a deer on, on the way, yeah. and, and this happens, I've hit many deer. Yeah. So my vehicle, my okay. fuel, my insurance, um, 
yeah. my repairs, my maintenance. So, uh, so just, and that's, that literally is out of my pocket. So that's probably 15, 20,000 a year outside of even paying for the vehicle. I, I drive probably four times as much in one year as an average person. So I've retired two vehicles already, each had 225,000 miles. I'm just thinking though, but it's like a give and a take. So you're right, so, you know, obviously yeah. you're totally, you know, everybody understands that, but in New York City maybe where they're not traveling, right. the rent is probably triple. But that rent is covered, there's a differential. Really? So the rent is covered by the majority and their costs of traveling to and from Albany and their costs of staying in the district are also covered. Mm -hmm. so, so really the model, what, I, what I'm hoping to do, and I'm, I'm planning to submit, is to say to the commission, I'd like to submit to you to the congressional model. So the congressional model is really like a block, uh, block funding that, that can support the various aspects of doing the job, the necessary and actual expenditures, but the member makes the decision. And, and if it exceeds what their allocation is, then, then they're out of luck, but uh, rent, and travel, um, a congressman will get reimbursed for their travel in the district. I, I do not. Um, no matter what the, it is. Right. Yeah, for sure. And the Congress also, some guy, one guy so, in Idaho has got to go all over one state. Yeah. One congressman. So, so just to bear in yeah, mind, again, I'll, I'll just use the example of my vehicle. So 15, 20,000 a year with vehicle maintenance and fuel and wear and tear, that's net income. That's money I pay after taxes on, right. my, on my salary with no right. other... Other so than you, so, then you probably you know on eighty thousand dollars you're probably netting sixty. Yep, and, and then the, so almost another a third 20, of my net salary, and then another yep. twenty thousand goes off on those expenses you just listed. Right, and that's so that's right. another so that brings it down to forty thousand. Correct, and in Schoharie County, right, the median income is about that. For yeah, for a household of of yeah, a four, four and you're two. Right, so yep, so so I guess my premise is. And so I'm addressing it differently. Yeah. I said, okay, folks, I'm not here pushing for a pay raise, but it would be nice to have the actual necessary uh, expenses okay. covered. So yeah. that, that's the way I would so approach they, it. They're able to say that also, like maybe the pay well, raise is 5,000, I'm just throwing out a number, and you know, let's, but the expenses, which maybe for you would be maybe an extra 20,000 cover expenses. So, they're able so to I'm going to submit that. that to them. And it's not in their purview, but I'm, I'm going to ask them to consider it and but, look at it. But it, you know, you're yeah. one of the honest ones. Now you take a situation like right. you're talking about uh -huh. and you have any of these uh, 80 some odd legislators who were uh, bad, legislative bad apples. Yeah. And you know, they sure. could have really abused, found a way to really abuse the system even further than Absolutely. what they abused it while they were there. Yeah. So Absolutely. you got to have some really tight controls on what you're proposing. Well, it would be, and again, the congressional model is probably the the best model to look at. And there, everything has to be submitted and vouchered and documented. So, so, so if the pay raise goes through, um, again, the issue is I still have to pay taxes on it. Right. I would have to pay tax. And then the question is, what happens with that net additional income? What do I do with it? Do yeah. I get, give it to charity? Do I, do I create my own method of documenting the expenses and pay for that? Uh, what do I do? Well, and you that, know, Channel Albany could use some. They help. could. They could. <laughs> and, uh, but in the meantime, I, I am got a, preparing I got a few legislation. I could tell you what to do. Yeah, with it, I am know? preparing legislation. <laughs> uh, I am preparing legislation to, to repeal the commission. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, okay. and put a bill in that would, one, one bill would say, tie it to the cost of living. Or to to two percent uh, a year, uh, whichever is less. And my whole premise there is, you know, I, I voted for the commission with the belief that they would do something rational, that they would come forward and say, okay, we're going to look at this. We'll look at the world around us. We'll come up with some thoughtful measures, some mm -hmm. thoughtful proposal that can be tested publicly and possibly accepted publicly. Yeah. Instead, they did the same thing that the legislative leaders have done, they proposed a 40% pay raise, insulting, really, to the public. Who and, proposed it? Well, that, that, was the, that was the acknowledgement. The 40% increase had come you know, from, from, was it a leak from the commission? Where, no, the, where the, November 10th, they're supposed to. No, but the 40% that the, the public has focused on. They focused on it because that's what they focused on. That's what right. they felt if right. you, when in their so, math, in the public's that, math, right. they thought that's what it would be. So my, my and looking back right. on 19, what 89 was the last sure. time there was a pay raise, and then it was the, the one before that. So they was just in the did 70s. the math from the. They right. just did the math and. But, but my what, premise yeah. was that 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 basic exercise to me was insulting 
be because what it did was it, it brought a proposal forward or, or a number forward that simply inflamed the public. Right. And, and, right. and, and to me, it wasn't even but, common. But no one brought the proposal forward. The commission didn't bring the proposal forward. The, the media inflamed the public so they could sell papers and they could get more advertising. Well, the 40% came that's from what they where? Did. Where did the 40% come from? It, didn't, it came from some columnist who decided to write that that's what it would be. So, so as we was, focus on that, so as know, we focus on the 40%, to me, that whole premise of 40% to me is, is insulting. And the commission, I would expect, would be more thoughtful with what they, of course. What they offer. Of so, course. so I'll be offering legislation. Uh, one will include the 2% the, uh, or cost of living, which yeah. to me takes all the politics out of it, because that, that's really what we're after. So we, we jumped in with both feet on this, as it eating up all mm -hmm. your airtime here. Yeah. But uh, well, the whole the hot issue today. Yeah, so the whole premise is, how do you re reasonably reimburse? Yeah. Uh, how do you reasonably in encourage people to serve? What are the other limitations? Do you, is it their only job? Do you limit outside income? Right. Um, what other conditions do you put on? And, okay. and ultimately thinking that you want people to, to be able to serve and be able to serve in a way that is sustainable uh, for their household. Okay, so I gotta ask you yes, to move on because I, that was very thoughtful and I do appreciate it. Uh, one of your colleagues in the Republican yeah. conference passed away, uh, Bill Noje. He did, yes, he we, we grieve his loss, yes, that was so, very, could you, Unsettling. Could you reflect on his life as you knew it in the assembly? Bill, Bill Noje was literally a neighbor of mine in chamber. I, I didn't have a lot of contact with him outside of Albany, but found him intelligent, uh, passionate, found him very articulate, uh, found him very, um, very energized. So uh, my family, my wife and I, uh, felt him to be a person who, who took his job seriously. So we were incredibly um, saddened by the news and, and s certainly all of us still wondering what, what would have caused, well, what would have caused a, that. It was the indictment that he was had to you know, appear later that day no, in I federal court and but, he but didn't it, want to, he took the coward's way out. I guess just re re reflecting on uh, any human yeah. scenario, what, what drives a person to that point of despair Everyone is different. Did you ever know him as being a little, uh, I don't want to say crazy, but you know, a little bit mm -hmm. out, off? I mean, because I've known him to be, maybe he was a little off. I, I found Bill uh, pushing uh, very conservative agendas and, yeah. and very engaged and, and very strident in some ways in, in terms of trying to, to right the ship of Albany. His goal was to clean out, clean up Albany. Uh, that was the way he presented himself to you know, us. And, to on his, and on his talk family. show, I mean, he really... Yeah, I know he was a talk show celebrity. I, I, I never did. really heard his show. Okay, it was yeah. mainly in the Finger Lakes and uh, some western Central New York. Central New York, yeah. Rochester area, sure. Uh, Livingston County, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, he, uh, you know, when, she when Shelley Silver had all his problems, you know, he would open his show with some uh, Judaic music. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. I, you know, it's not yeah. really, you know. No, so, I, so, so. I, I would concur with your observation. I, I shared that observation, and it's heartbreaking to think yeah. of it in those terms. It is. And, and again, people are innocent until proven guilty, so it wasn't my right. place to, to, to cast judgment. I, you know. But, but again, I, I, I'm saddened by the loss and saddened by the, well, by the circumstances. If he, if he was indicted, he would have been added to my list of legislative yeah. bad apples, but he's yeah. not, so. Yeah, no, I, I understand. understand. And, that's, and, and that, to me, this, <laughs> this part here. I want to just to No, show. they can't see. It's too well, small. They, the type is still, too small. still, you can see, I mean, there's a lot you can of see there's a lot. There's oh, a lot. Oh, 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 the right? bottom line, I know okay. it's going to read yeah. it. Oh, okay. A lot it's of not yes. one or two lines. There's 60. And, and, uh, and yeah. that frustration, I guess. 33 I, assemblymen and 23 senators. Yeah, yeah. And, and for me, the frustration is, as we do our job, this becomes, this becomes a focus. So instead of focusing on poverty, instead of focusing on, on creating, uh, strengthening sure. the economy, instead of focusing on housing, Instead of focusing on agriculture, you focus on the mental people health become of the legislator. fixated on this, and so to me, yeah. it's it's a horrible uh, loss of of uh, of energy and, and okay. potential. Well, let's move on then. Oh, he's all business now. <laughs> Here we go. He, well, yeah. Yes, sir. Moving on. You know, uh, I don't know what's on your list, so I'm when, happy just to respond. <laughs> when you go back to session in January, yes, you in what you're there six years. Uh, how many years are you there? Uh, actually, this I'm just completely. You were elected in 07. 
Yeah, completing my 10th right? year. Okay, right. yeah. so you completed your 10th year. Right. So you will be on a seniority list, you will be number 63. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah that's top interesting. Half. So yeah, you are above the half so whatever in 10 means, years. But, well, but what you are <laughs> is above, above the half way mark yeah, in terms of high seniority would in just important? 10 years. Right, and, Mark, and I would guess, it be important which, where he is in the Republican Party? I mean, maybe to yeah. be a minority leader? I mean, well, you know, no, I mean, he's down. one of the, he's, right. yeah, but I look at it as the legislature, the assembly yeah. uh, as a whole, yeah. Yeah, because it's important, saying, but... it's important to, to try to get the mindset into saying we are one legislative body we are not Republicans and That's Democrats. Correct. We are all right. one. And every time I show this list yeah. to a Democrat, they say, yeah, but where am I among the Democrats? Yeah, and that, that and statement, say, you know, that statement you made was profound. I was having that conversation with the rabbi be before we went on air. And, and to me, what's missing, and what's missing in our society is the premise that we are one. We are not, a, we should not be a collection of self-labeled individuals mm -hmm. who, 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 who put ourselves in little boxes and then, and then um, use that as a means of fighting with each other right. over priorities and privileges. And I, I saw this play out, not to go too far off script, I saw this play out with the, with the um, terrorist shootings. Mm -hmm. And again, there was a concern about loss of Latinos in Florida, for example, and the effect on the gay and lesbian transgender population. And my premise is, we mourn for everyone. Yeah. We, we, you, are Americans. Yeah. you are Americans, you are part of our community, you are our family. We're, we're, I'm not interested mm -hmm. in how we label each other. And, and we run into that too much, both in terms of how work is done in right. Albany, but, but you see it spill out into the broader society. And to me, that's a, a loss of human potential. That's, that's a horrible and waste that's of time and energy. why I didn't break it out. No, no, Democrat I appreciate it. But I wanted to hit that yeah. statement because it was very profound, and, exactly. and I appreciate yeah. that. So, you, so just so you know, when you yeah. bring it back to your leader, uh, Brian <laughs> Cole, yes. that you're probably... Uh, higher than he is. No, he's going to be number 17, when, uh, so 35 right. rather. He'll be number 35. Sure, and I guess my, my premise so on that you is... You won't be too far behind him. Sure, and, and, and I guess my <laughs> premise on that is, is uh, as I do my job, uh, and, and thank you for that, it's, it's gratifying and horrifying and both in the same, in the same breath. Um, but my premise is I'm more concerned about how can I use my skills and abilities and experience to serve people? Right, but the seniority. Uh, outside, outside of but your seniority uh, benchmarking seniority. Gets, yeah. gets you to, for people to focus on your skills and your talents yeah. and your abilities. There, 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 are, there is and a perspective of how long you've been in the seat. Right. That's, uh, you know, so, right. you know, someone like a... Which Todd, I chafe at in some, to some... Well, regard. you know, someone yeah. like Todd Kaminsky, sure. who was, a, a, you know, U.S. Uh, attorney. Or, right, right. He was a district attorney. Right. Or a U.S. attorney, a federal right. level. Right, right. right. That's so what I mean. he yeah. was, um, and, and he came into the assembly, right. he was right at the bottom of everything. Now he's in the Senate, now sure. he's in the Senate, you know, he has a little more higher a profile. If he wins true, his depending on who has yeah. the majority. Okay. Yeah, his, prior, his, his profile might actually reduce well, if he no, goes from assembly majority to Senate majority. A yeah, Senate minority, but that is. being in the Senate minority is still high, as a freshman, is still higher than being a freshman majority member. You certainly represent more people. You know. But, but in terms of cloud and getting but things done. But there's a camaraderie that, in the Senate yeah. that you can get past some of that. Yeah. And I think, you know, so, but I just... He's got all this inside baseball stuff going exactly. there. <laughs> but, you know, the, people think, like, you know, there's automatic 98% yeah. uh, re-election rate in yeah. the assembly. Yeah. But, you there's know, a lot you of do, turnover. But there's 10 seats oh, that yeah, are open. Huge turnover, especially in the last two or three terms, massive exactly. turnover. Exactly. Yeah. So you're going to see right. at least 10 new faces. But, but my frustration with that, Mark, is, again, I've, I've seen this, is the faces change, but the institution doesn't. So, so, so I serve in the feudal era. Th th this institution is the lord of so-and-so and the duke of so-and-so, right. and you swear fealty to, to the lord of the realm, mm -hmm. and their power is absolute to me. Uh, I'm, I'm always happy to see new faces and new right. blood, but, but I, I'm equally saddened that the institution changes. These people are quickly whipped into shape yeah. and, and effectively directed and told what to do, how to vote, uh, how, how to act. Right. And, and to me, that, that is the worst uh, the worst um, continuation of, of this, this winner-take-all yeah, fiefdom. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's, to me, the institution needs to change, which is my premise is 
hierarchy, uh, feudal era, uh, time in the seat. None of that should matter. What should matter is the value of the idea and the energy of the person coming in. What, what do they offer to make life better right. for all of us? Now, you're in the leadership of the Republican So, so I, chafe, I chafe at yeah. the constraints I'm in. But so again, I'm half Puerto Rican, English, Scotch, Dutch, okay. German, yeah. Republican, conservative, upstate, Miami, born. You're a Heinz whatever. 57, yeah, okay. But, but <laughs> I'm, well, we're going to anoint you as a pro as an honorable Jew over here. Yeah, yes. And on the Jewish yeah, view absolutely. over here. Absolutely. No, it's wonderful. And I, I'm yeah. so thankful to be on your show. But, but, I, but I just wanted yeah. to, but you're also in the uh, leadership in the Assembly con Republican Conference. I am, right. And what's your title there? Oh, they have me as, as majority, uh, majority, I don't want conference to say Conference leader? Conference or? leader, right. Okay. Assistant majority conference So you leader. get a little bit of an extra bump in. They help with that, sure. No, there's yeah. what, a a uh, stipend. Eight thousand, nine thousand dollars stipend that, that right. goes with that. Right. So that's you know okay. Right. So that that right. last year was the first year for you, right? In that for when that, that role, that, first term. Yeah. yeah, yeah all right. the first term. So hopefully you know either yeah. you'll continue in that or maybe they'll bump yeah. you up further. Right. Do you but, think? But for but I guess I'll go back to to the district. So the people I serve who are flood ravaged, right. homeless, no, no, have I no understand. job. They don't care about that. No, they don't. And, and, but and you have to. I, I do to some Personally, extent. Personally, because if, if it translates, because if it translates into helping it, me do my job, it'll more make it easier for you to put that extra yeah. stipend into the district office and help your res, your citizen, you know, your constituents. So okay. So let me ask you. This. So we have the academic aspect that you're okay. addressing, okay. and then I live in the real world of, oh. of dealing with, I don't and it's, it's more personality driven, to be honest. No one's ever said that about me before. It's it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's more at least in terms of this framework. <laughs> in this framework, uh, oh. the reality is more personality driven, and, okay. and and more interaction, personal interaction, do you than it is title and time. I, I just would submit you, that to you. Do you see the Republican? He's not even listening. He's no, no, going. I am. I am. <laughs> do you see the Republican conference as going below forty members? Uh, that's a that's an excellent question. Um, they say all politics is well, local, local. Are local? Yeah. No, all politics yeah. is, local. is local. Help me with the, free, yeah, the phrasing. Local, yeah. And ultimately, at, at the assembly level, there'll be some interplay between what's happening in well, Washington. Um, but I, I would dare say many of these races are going to be decided by the candidate and how they present. So, so if there is... So, You're losing so, four members of the Republican conference. Yeah. So, and so you there's don't know potential. if there's going to be yeah. a Democrat filling those slots. Correct. So there's a potential, of course. That I, you I, could... You have, what, 42 members now? In yeah, 42, right. So there is yeah. a potential... But it's it's hard for me to predict. I'd need my Johnny. No, but out of a well, who, there's a the hundred, light show. I need my great turban, the great Karnak with the gold Karnak, turban and the yeah. feather. I've I'd seen that. To I've predict. seen you do miracles like that. That's, <laughs> I've seen I've seen it. Uh, but you know, you have four. Yeah. So there's a seeds. potential. But there's a potential to swing the other way too. So depending on on the no, nature of the district, uh, the ones that are up on the Democratic side, you know. Goldfeder and Wright and Kaminsky. Oh, you're and talking Clark. about vacancies. Vacancies, you, right? Yeah, but that you know, you're not going to win any of those uh, Democrat vacancies. Yeah. So. so no, I, I, I'm just talking about all members running at the same time. So that's yeah, not to no, say I'm, that there aren't incumbents who who may lose uh, uh, from either 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 yeah. side. Right, right. right. I'm yeah. looking at the open yeah. seats because you know yeah. that those are going to. You know, I'll just use yeah. an, as an so. example in the district next to me. Um, Assemblyman McGee is facing a very serious challenge. He's and been he's, a long-term incumbent. And his health is yeah, and, challenged. And, and, I mean, I see again, him in a wheelchair. I, 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 I work with Bill. I serve yeah. on the Assembly Committee. But right. uh, that, what's to say that that seat doesn't change? It may, even though it's not open. So but that's all I'm saying. And it's that, been in Democrat hands for many, many years. It has, so. yeah, for many years. Um, he's got a long list. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. do. And now, I I'll noticed that back. something in the, <laughs> in the um, uh, bills that you sponsored in sure. the last session. Now, in the... 2017, you got to refile all these. So you know, yeah, I have chosen sure that to, sponsored but, primarily, but also multi-sponsored or co-sponsored. But the prime sponsors that you you are into this diesel emission and very green in terms of fuel. That's you one know. of my passions. Sure, That's alternate what, energy, uh, it, and that that bill is just a manifestation. And you'll see more. Well, you have a I, lot of you know a, multi or co-sponsored. You'll see that amplified even right. more. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's just that's you know you're branding yourself to be this. Yeah, I guess, I guess my image. premise is, and, and I, I picked this up from a phrase from former Governor Patterson, where he used the phrase that energy is the new currency. 
So, so think about that phrase and, 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 and then apply it to your everyday life. You can't turn on a switch, you can't drive to work, you can't heat your home, you, you can't do anything, you, you can't produce a good w without having affordable, uh, reliable mm -hmm. access to, to energy. So my premise is we have a lot of opportunity and, mm -hmm. and the biodiesel piece is just one aspect. Biodiesel is a, a potential crop uh, a potential sustainable crop that could be used in, in w with certain limits. So your personal car also. My Jeep, yeah, I had two. Uh, it was a biodiesel. Yeah. yeah. Which, and I ran on a, a B20 blend of canola and soybean oil <laughs> mixed with diesel, and I smelled like McDonald's as I would drive through town. Uh, but I was also getting 35 miles per gallon with, with an SUV. Uh, mm. with, and, and again, that fuel feedstock was being produced uh, domestically. Now there is some challenge, some people talk about food versus fuel, there's a whole series of issues and arguments, but my premise is, I would like us, America wins, when we have cheap, uh, affordable, plentiful energy reserves at our disposal. Right. And, and so I would like to see a heavy emphasis on renew, renewable resources in that mix. That's, that's something I'm very passionate about. Yeah. Wind, solar, biofuels, et geothermal, geothermal right. all of that, yeah. I got that. Uh, huh. Now you have a. Now I just want to point. Now, now that your car was hit by a deer, now what? What well, are you driving? Actually, the, I'm on. I've, I had two bio diesels. Uh, they were one was an 05 Liberty common rail diesel right. um, that went to 225,000, and then I had a uh, an 06 uh, same vehicle. Right. Uh, that that one I just retired because the valve went on the engine. Right. Right. I was very frustrated. I wanted 100,000 miles more out of it. That's so. Right. Temporarily, I'm driving another Liberty, but it's not biodiesel because they're too expensive. Um, so the, old, the other ones are too old. The 06s are too old. Yeah, but and the new ones are too expensive for me to afford right now. But when you went, but when you hit the deer, did you get it fixed? Did you get that well, car hit, fixed well, already? That that car I hit. Well, with my biodiesels, I probably hit about. No, I'm talking five about your current car. You the just said you last week you hit. Just it. just this, this summer, I had to trade vehicles oh, because the yeah. biodiesel hit the one that hit the deer the was finished. The biodiesel gave up, gave up the ghost if through a valve. Okay. A valve died. Okay. So let me <laughs> From being overworked and underpaid. Okay. How's that? Now you, you also, <laughs> why, wh why are you concerned about pro rata license fees for seasonal bars? Pro rata license fees for, for seasonal bars. Oh, yes, absolutely. That, that is district driven. So yeah. he, he was surprised he got that reaction from He's like, what? He's to say, what? Seasonal so, bars. So yes. we have uh -huh. in Saugerties, uh, we have a bar that has an open to the public piece that's outside, and then an open to the public piece that's inside. They right. have to pay for two licenses. On a porch, you mean like a deck? They have an outside, kind of yeah, they have an outside yeah, piece. That, like that. And so they have part of their operation is seasonal. Yeah. And they have to pay for two licenses really? and pay two fees and two submissions. Like and, and so the premise was, stop it. Yeah, Let, let's no, merge it into one so it's not application. Just, so it's not just that one bar. It's every bar around the state. Well, every bar that, that has a, a, a seasonal component to well, it, like where for they're example, forced to have a separate in license. In Delmar, we have, a bar, uh, we have a restaurant called Swifties. Swifties. And they have an outdoor patio that's only for the... Yeah, I guess I'd have to look at the summer. way it's constructed, but in this particular right. case, this person was required by the, by the um, liquor authority to yeah. have two licenses, which made no sense. So, no. so back to bills that I uh, initiate or uh, support, yeah, yeah. a lot of it's driven by what's happening sure. real world in the district. And not just so for that you, bill, every that bill was actually, if you can imagine, yeah. I gave that bill over to one of my colleagues to, to advance. Then it was picked up by another. So uh, Assemblywoman, she's a new Assemblywoman from the Rexford area. Uh, Carrie Warner. Carrie Warner actually wound up picking up that bill, okay. which I co-sponsored, uh -huh. and we passed it. Uh, so that bill was actually picked up and, and passed by chaptered. the Assembly. Oh, it was chaptered. Senate. It was actually chaptered. Oh, right. Yeah. So, so, Wonderful. Yeah, so, so okay. that's a small subsection. I didn't know that. I, I got about it, 20 or 40 more. I picked more. it out of the blue. I yeah. didn't know that You're was like, one what? of your successes. Okay. Such a dry Now, what about topic? this? Three-year hiking trail safety. No, it's not a dry topic when you talk about bars. It's no, that's true. Dry that's about true. No, that would bars. be more prohibition. That was that's a, true. That was a pun. That was you pretty funny. I like that. Was, okay. I, I like your style. So <laughs> you've established a three-year hiking trail safety pilot program. Yes. So this one goes back to my district as well. So in my region, we've had numerous fatalities, individuals, and, and we love nature as, as a society. We love the outdoors, but when it comes to, to addressing and, and going out into rugged terrain, 
uh, often we're very ill prepared. So we've had individuals who've lost their lives uh, due to lack of knowledge of the trails, lack of proper uh, dress, people you, going out in flip flops. No, you can say it; it's stupidity. I can't say that. No, because it's it's. Uh, <laughs> it is it, though. It, I can't say that. No, but I would say but I'm I would say it. you can say that. Because, but I would say that's what lack of knowledge. I would Come say on. ignorance. Look. If you're, going, if you're going yeah. into rugged terrain, you look it up on the internet, you right. learn, you right. do all the prep work. If you're not going to do that, it's just right. plain stupidity. I, I culturally, culturally, I'm sorry, people, I just, people are used to having everything instantly available to them. So <laughs> people will come from environments where they don't understand. Well, Tran go, transport so themselves. Let's go, let's go to look the, at that beautiful yeah. peak. I'm going to leave my yeah, home, my suburban home. I'm going to wear my flip flops and my shorts. I'm not going to prepare for the weather. I'm going to start hiking trails that I really don't know about, which really aren't really marked in a, a fashion that someone can understand. This came to my attention. So one was the loss of life, which, which was devastating. Okay. The other piece was that on many of these trails, mm -hmm. unlike a ski trail, so if you go to ski or snowboarding, trails are rated and ranked. So you know if it's a green dot, yeah, that's right. it's easy. If yeah. it's a blue square, right. it's, it's moderate, it's a intermediate. Red if, it's a if it's a black diamond, yeah. that's expert. If it's a double diamond, you better be darn good or else you're in big trouble. We don't have that on our trail system, including our state DEC and parks trails. Right. So I've, I've routinely seen individuals uh, who, who not just in terms of dress, but also in terms of physical limitations, right. um, physical conditioning, right. will start on a trail that may seem nice and then get a mile or two miles back and find themselves Going up in trouble mile, yeah, yeah and, and have themselves at risk so my premise and quite was quite often there's no cell tower nearby correct so you can't even call on correct the cell phone. no and and so my premise was to to help ensure that people have an enjoyable time okay and, and can go in with a better understanding of what's an easy trail what's a harder trail what's an expert trail and be prepared, right. back to your point, yeah. to, to at least give them some upfront consideration. When they look at a trail map, they can see a, a green dot, so it's gentle rolling slopes, and maybe maybe uh, uh, an ADA right. grade, AD, uh, Americans with Disability Act grade that someone can address on a walker mm -hmm. or with a cane. So, so that one was really tied to loss of life and, and physical suffering. So, so what the, what's the timeline? Three-year hiking trail safety pilot program? Yeah, so the premise was... So, to, to, to have this funded DEC. for three years? Yes, oh, and, okay. and to have DEC take, take the, okay. portions of their state system and experiment with it and try to, to assess the trail, uh, see if they could get a trail to consistently fall in the category. Would, this would be under Parks and Rec? Or Parks and Rec DEC? and DEC, both. Yeah. Yeah. And what, this and was under DEC, I think, this and, particular bill. And did it pass? It has not, no. Okay. And it hasn't, um, You're going to put it in again next year? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, yep. good. Yep. Let's go. And I have and many, many more to introduce. Okay, now let me yeah. ask you about this. Uh, huh. uh, you, you wanted to extend, this is a lo again a local law that you were prompt. Uh, yeah. The expiration of the authorization of imposing, in Greene County, imposing an additional 1% sales tax yeah, that, and compensating you. That tax. one I chafe at. I really. Because I, you're not a, uh, in, in favor of increasing taxes, but right. this is. In, this is extending yeah, what, the tax from sunset. What happens, and this, this is the bane of the New York State Legislature, that particular example. So in any event, a county has authorization to, to, uh, to initiate a sales tax up to a certain limit under state statute. In, in many cases, from Long Island to, to the North Country to Buffalo to the Catskills, local governments often come back to request additional consideration and it requires an act of the state legislature. So the state legislature is asked to, to support an extension of mm -hmm. a sales tax that may be 1% above what they legally would be authorized otherwise. My answer to that mm -hmm. is I'm really not interested in, in, in getting caught in this push me, pull me uh, uh, mode mm -hmm. of governing. And I've actually introduced two pieces of legislation that call for a public referendum mm -hmm. for any increase in sales tax uh, or local taxes. Could it you, takes the legislature out of it. Well, could you get accused, if you had an opponent, could you get accused of being in favor of hiking taxes? Sure, or you could be the opposite. You could run into a scenario where Kevin Cahill refused to ex do it, and the county lost $2 million in funding, and it caused loss of programming for social services and mental health. And he got hit And, and the other one. So, so you, it's a darned if you do, darned if you don't. I, I'm using my... Okay. Per, thank you. Yeah. And, and so my answer to that is the two pieces I put in. One allows a permissive referendum. Someone right. would petition. And then I have one that would require a mandatory referendum. So if a county wants to expend beyond its limit, mm -hmm. 
I'm not here to micromanage your affairs. You're individually elected. You're constitutionally created as a separate branch exactly. or a separate level of government. Mm -hmm. We're going to give it back to your voters. Right. So, so I don't have to answer to your voters. You do because it's your decision, your budget, yep. your revenue. I shouldn't be in the position of having to interpret or be the bad guy either way. So, so bills like this... And this causes members to run around in small circles. I know. That's so, why I brought it so, up to you. And that's why I, I put a bill in, because I'm about solutions. I don't like dealing with symptoms. Right. So I have the two bills. And to me, it makes sense. Give it back to the county government. Give it back to the town government. You have a budget. If you want to go past your budget, it's going to require a referendum. Your people are going to vote on it, and they're going to know that you initiated it. Right. It's your spending plan, your, your, your spending proposals, mm -hmm. and ultimately you'll be accountable. And I've served as a local official, so to sure. me, it, it's a fair, it's a fair conversation. It's a fair and and, and balanced view. And the more other local, the more local officials that keep getting elected to the legislature, you can have a little former local official association. Oh, they, they yeah. yeah I, and, I guess there are many who are. People come from all over, but mm -hmm. uh, many folks kind of work their way up. But uh, now you have a bill that relates to school aid computer listings for school districts. Yes. I don't know what the heck that says so, or what that means. Yeah, so basically, two years ago, two districts. years ago, the governor refused to do school aid runs. Oh. Hello. Geez, Mr. Governor, you should be providing school board members with a sense of what your budget contains or doesn't oh. contain okay. and how that affects our district. So this would be compelling the governor okay. to do his job. To do the school runs, yes. school aid runs. Hello, governor. Do your job. You're not doing it, I'm putting a bill in to compel you to do your job. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. But when the legislature passes the budget, disposes of the budget, does the legislature uh, release school aid runs? So when the governor, they do. They so, do. So yes, and, and as, as each house does their one house version, they'll do school yeah. aid runs. Right. So, so Albany has the case of the runs. <laughs> I threw that in That's for your right. Thank uh -huh. you. But, but the premise is, that the governor, as he produces his executive budget, in my mind, has the obligation to let the rest of the world know what does that mean for each school district. He withheld the runs. He was, he was busy being punitive, uh, which, which he often oh. does. And, and, and he was saying, I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm not going to give you anything. I'm not doing anything for you. We were fighting over Common Core. He was the, he was the what was his, he was a child advocate. He safe, was the lobbyist self, for the children. Self, yeah. self-labeled um, lobbyist for children. Hero yeah. of, of education. Right. And he was busy beating up education. And so my premise is stop it. Yeah. Let's have an adult in the room, do your job, produce school aid runs with your, with, your, with your executive budget. So we can have a sane conversation on what does your budget mean for education, public education in New York State. Yeah, but that's, but, but you said, you know, you, when, when each house delivers their budget, you know, and that's they, March. They have, right, and, that's and, March. And, right, and, and they have and their schools school are trying to position themselves you, months before that, trying to figure things out. And, oh, you know, so, so the governor should do something we're, we're voting on school budgets. at an academic level because he only proposes, it's the legislature that disposes. Well, he proposes. And, you know, the school it's districts. It's more than academic. So, so to me, might look at yeah. the governor's budget the way he proposes it. He liked my term academic. Yeah, stuck back I, in. but to me, it's more than academic, and here's yeah, why. Why? So when Tell someone me. presents a budget, yeah. it's not just numbers. It's it's policy priorities. You're putting weight by by putting a value on that particular item. You're putting your policy preference and your weight behind everything that's in your budget because you're assigning a monetary value to it. So it's a priority statement. So if you're telling me that you can't even produce a priority statement with, with value and weight behind public education, you're not doing your job. Put that bill and do your job, Governor. All right. Thank well, you. You know, Mark, we're out of time. I love this. We're I have to come back. Time. Okay. We're out of time. We're out of time. We're out of time. We have to have you back because I'm going to ask you what's happening in the legislature and uh, yes. the assembly and the future. But of course. in the meantime, you're doing great work, as yeah. we always say, and um, you're on the ball well, with the people. You're yeah. a people's... I love people. Uh, I love yeah, serving. You're, you're yeah. the people's and I, man. I love you guys. You guys are uh, the best. There you go. That you makes it good. In any case, we wish yeah. you a lot of success you. and uh, you. continue on with yes. your good God work. Bless. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.